Hey guys, we're back with another video today uh, from a person who would like to remain anonymous. And they say, what, how often do I need to you know, read back my past dreams? Um, obviously, he's been keeping a dream journal, writing his dreams down every morning. But how often do you really need to read them back? You know, what do you actually do with them once they're uh, in the dream journal? They're in your notepad by your bed and they're done. What do you do with them? Well, the answer to that is you sort of read the last. So what I would do, the way I would approach this, OK, is when you go to bed at night, last thing at night, what you should do is have like a sort of routine that you follow. So it might be something like, you know, you get ready for bed, you relax, then maybe you put on some relaxing music, maybe you meditate, then you do a reality check, then you might read about some techniques that you want to try or, you know, an experiment, right? And then you read back your last night's dream. So what I would, what I personally do is I like to read back sort of the last one or two nights uh, from, from my dream journal before I go to bed on any one on any one night and what this does is it keeps you constantly you know in sync with like the dreams that you've just had so the last day or two and it means that you're going to sort of follow like a flow you know you're not going to enter the same dream again <clears throat> right because that's not really possible you can't have like exactly the same dream twice in a row um, but what it will do is it will let you sort of follow the same theme you know say if you last night you were in a dream and you were trying to fly, for example. If you read back that dream again tonight, you know, you're gonna be more likely to fly tonight in your dreams because it's the last thing you were thinking about. So really it depends what you want to actually dream about and you know what sort of scene you wanna have in your lucid dream. If you wanna go back and recreate a dream that you've already had, then in that case, maybe you should look through your dream diary and find a dream that in which you're doing what you wanna do. Say if you want to climb a mountain, right? Go back through your dream journal, read the, read the last dream that you had where you were climbing a mountain before you go to bed, and then that's it. You know, you'll be more likely to dream about <laughs> climbing a mountain, whatever the case is. Um, now, a quick note about this. What, what you'll find, okay, is that after you've got a few dreams in your journal, you know, you've got a few pages filled up, um, especially after a few weeks or months, it's going to be hard to look back through that and find, you know, what you're looking for because there's so many dreams and hopefully they're so detailed and there's just so much writing. So what I would suggest to do is once you've filled up a few a few weeks of your dream journal, <clears throat> is type it up on a computer. So type it up into a document, um, you know, on, on your computer, laptop, whatever. And what this will mean is that you can actually now search back through dreams you've already had. And this saves a lot of time. So instead of flicking back through a, a notepad that's by your bed that might be all tatty and hard to read, maybe it's like scrawled because it's been so early in the morning or late at night um, and you couldn't really write it properly. Instead of doing all that, type it up into a document and then if you want to dream about a mountain, search the document on your computer for a mountain and then you'll come up with all your dreams that you've had about mountains. And it's just so much easier. You know, it's going to save you a lot of time. It's going to mean that you can instantly find the dream or the dream signs you're looking for. Um, and like I said, if you want to recreate a dream scene and have like a specific um, adventure or experience in a dream, then it helps to read about the last time you had a similar type of dream, right? It just helps sort of prime your subconscious mind to dream about that. In the same way that if you, you know, just before going to bed, constantly try to visualize an island, like really vividly imagining all the details of an island, it's pretty likely that you know, rather than anything else, you're going to dream about an island. Okay, so it's sort of the same principle. So to answer the original question, you know, more concisely, you don't have to stick to anything specific with um, reading back your last dreams. If you just want to have, you know, a consistent dreaming experience, read back the last day or two before you go to bed. If you want to have a specific dream about something, you know, in particular, then read about other dreams you've had where you dreamed about that specific thing. So I hope this has helped. Please go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you next time.